So, awesome. ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do is show you how to do this. Then we have no, questions number 10, 11, 10, 11, 12, and 16. Yes. All right, so when you're in 10, 11, 12, and 16, it's a little bit different, but not much. All right? But I do want to go through this step by step for you guys to do it. The first thing is going to always remain the same. You're always going to want to make sure your equation is set equal to zero. So if you got to do anything solving, uh, that's fine. But the main important thing is making sure your equation is set equal to zero. All right? Now, again, um, we, we know, I'm not going to go through techniques. We're not even going to try to factor this, any factoring techniques, because I know I can only do this by um, completing the square. So the first thing we do is we identify what A is, what B is, and what C is. OK? So A is equal to 3, B is equal to 6, and C is equal to 13. Now we have a problem. Because whenever A is not equal to 1, you cannot complete the square, the method that we used. All right, So you can't use the same process. We have to make an adjustment. So what we're going to do is I need to factor this out so A is equal to 1. So I need to factor out the 3 so that A is equal to 1. And what I'm going to do is I'm only going to factor out the 3 out of my first two terms. So therefore, my equation now is going to look like this. 3 equals, or 0 equals 3 times x squared plus 2x plus 13. Does everybody see that? Would, does everybody agree that 3 that three times both of these is the same thing as my original problem? But now, when doing this, now I have A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, and C is equal to 13. Now I have A is equal to 1, so now I can do my process. How do you get 2? 2 is right there. No, but how do you get it from 6? I remember I divided out 3. I divided out the 3. Oh, okay. So 3 divided. 3x squared divided by 3 is just x squared. 6x divided by 3 is just 2x. Okay, So now I take my b divided by 2 and square it. So I take 2 divided by 2 and square it, which gives me the number 1. Right? You guys are familiar with this, right? Now what I do is I add, just like we did before, you're going to add the 1 inside the parentheses, and then you're going to add it to the other side. right? OK, so I say 1 equals 3 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 13. Does everybody follow me? This is the exact same thing. The only thing different from my problem that I've done and the previous problem is I factored out that 3 firsthand. There's nothing else that has changed so far. However, the only thing, the biggest difference now, ladies and gentlemen, that I want, need you guys to understand is when you factor something out, this 3 is multiplied by both of these, right? So when you add a 1 inside the parentheses, that 1 is also being multiplied by the 3, correct? So really, I didn't add a 1 onto this side. I added a 1 that's multiplied by a 3. So if on the left side, I also have to add a 1 that is multiplied by a 3. So you have to say whatever you factored out, when you add the 1 in there, whatever you factored out, you have to multiply that same number on the left, on the left side. All right. So now I have 3 equals 3 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 13. I will finish up here, guys, in just a second. Key, stay with me. Now, remember, we need to factor this. So Hopefully, you guys can start getting an idea of what these look like in your head. But if you don't, what two numbers multiply to give you 1, but then add to give you 2? One. 1 times 1, right? And they have to add to give you a positive 2. So it's going to be 1 times 1. So therefore, I have 3 equals 3 times x plus 1 times x plus 1 plus 13. So you factor this. Now, when you factor this, again, guys, remember, I'm trying to get you forward. You factor this as a perfect square trinomial. That is your trinomial squared. 3 equals 3 times x plus 1 squared plus 13. I'll write that over here. Does everybody see me so far? Yeah. Now, we need to solve for x. 
So how do you solve for x? Well, you subtract a 13 on both sides. And you have negative 10 equals 3 times x plus 1 squared. Then we divide by 3. So I have negative 10 thirds equals x plus 1 squared. And then the last thing we need to do is now introduce the square root. And remember what we talked about? Can you take the square root of negative numbers? No. no. So therefore, you're going to have your no real solutions. Now, we will talk about how to do this for, um, later. But for right now, I'd just like you guys to write in no real solutions. All right? And if that wasn't negative, if this was positive, then the answer would look like this. x equals plus or minus um, square root of 10 thirds minus 1. That's if it was positive. But, you're not, but for right now, I'd just like you to write no real solutions. So the main important thing, guys, is factoring this out so that a equals 1. And then since you factor that out, whenever you add it to the other side, you also have to multiply that number. Yes. Um,